Hey guys, Kyle here, and I'm bringing you the manga chapter review for ch for Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 124. A pretty entertaining, but um, also very simple chapter this week. Uh, we learn, for starters, the biggest thing we learn about is Midio's his quirk ability, and it is phasing just as we all thought, but supposedly. <clears throat> It's definitely a more dangerous type of phasing ability, because how, how, how Mirio's uh, phasing supposedly works is that he has to, when he's phasing, he has to keep absolute concentration with his, with his, um, we have to, he has to keep 100% absolute concentration on his, when he's using his power, otherwise he could, he could very well basically slip through the center, slip through the entire entirety to the center of the earth unless it's unless it's not under control. And that's not just me making a joke, that's literally basically the the fundamental weakness of his power, which <clears throat> which honestly at I said this before, I think in another review, but <clears throat> it's honestly making me think that the main focus partly of this of this training, of this next training, or even these internships, maybe is that the is that the students of class E or class A are gonna start working on their uh, gonna start working on on working on on ways to counteract their, their own weaknesses. I think at this point, like I think I think the biggest thing I've taken away from this whole thing with the with the internships is that working on your weaknesses is the biggest point of what they need to do at this. It was what they need to do right now, but uh, yeah, we we also learned that Me uh, Medio himself at one point he didn't have much, he didn't have a lot of confidence in himself or his abilities. He thought they were just kind of stupid in many ways. So, but but it was but it was by that it was around the time that he it was around the time that that he went to UA that that he really started to like he really started to love. When he started to kind of find a love for his abilities, which is also kind of cool that it that a UA like has even helped people like him to think about. Uh, after that, <coughs> the the rest of the chapter is pretty simple. It, it's 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 Midoriya Mid 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 was contacting a uh, counting at after that uh, it it switches to Midoriya contacting Grand Torino in order to in order to see if he could uh, intern under him and uh, of course Gran Torino being the crotchety crotchety grouchy old man I guess he is uh, in, uh, declined declined on taking him as his student however he did tell he did tell Midoriya about a uh, about a um, about about someone named about someone who was who was All Might's sidekick apparently, so we're going so Midoriya is probably going to be interning with him. However, <clears throat> this is this is my theory, and you guys can say I'm totally I'm gonna share a theory with all you guys, you can freely say I'm totally nuts on this one. But immediately after we're we're not, we're told about All Might's sidekick, it immediately switches to I think it was Overhaul is his name. So could it be, be that Overhaul was once, was once All Might's sidekick? Is that is that who Overhaul is? If if it is, then it's probably gonna end up with a little more of a conflict than than Midori realizes. But yeah, yeah. If if it, if, if it isn't, then I'll I'll be surprised, of course. But then I I won't be then I will be if it isn't Overhaul, then I will be I'll be definitely. Sh It'll definitely be interesting to see who it is precisely, but if it is overhaul, then yeah, we're, we're headed for some for, for some really for some really heavy for some really heavy stuff coming our way. Also, it seems like the uh, after like concerning overhaul himself, it seems that the League of Villains and League of Villains and uh, the League of Villains are are working towards bolstering or continuing to work towards bolstering their ranks. Now, I guess it, I guess it only figures that in the wake of, I guess it only figures they did that because in the wake of All Might's, All Might's uh, resignation, there's really no symbol of peace. The symbol of peace is gone now, so it would only make sense that they're 
their ranks with bolster and of course on on both sides that both sides are basically trying to bolster their ranks at this point so it's real it sounds like a I mean, it, it looks like this is headed for a full-blown almost uh, a gang or, or city war almost like it's gonna be hero it's gonna be like a whole whole city of heroes city of for any of you who have played City of Heroes or City of Villains, I bet it's going to be like a full-blown heroes, villains, total total army type clash kind of thing. Like a, a, a battle in, in the entire city. So, yeah, I th we, it sounds like we're headed for some really heavy, some really good good stuff headed our way on both villains, on both the villains and the hero side. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's my review of Boku no Hero Academia Chapter. 124. Uh, so I'm I'm sorry this one was a touch late again. Um, uh, I'm I'm just I think this this one was this one was mainly late because I was trying to trying to get my thoughts straight on this chapter. But uh, yeah, guys, just 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 tell me what you think. Did you like the chapter? If you did, what was your favorite part? See ya. Oh, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and if you want, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Later. Mm-hmm.